What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Gonna bring you some Stevie Ray Vaughan style bend licks. Uh, and, you know, some concepts, too. I took them right from uh, Texas Flood. Uh, a couple of my favorite little things that he does. Pretty much in almost every blues solo he does. So, hopefully you get something from it and you can use it in your arsenal. Uh, also, I have some uh, MP3 jam tracks, which, you, you know, obviously you can practice these licks over it. And I have a link for the jam tracks right down there below this box. You know, put it all together and you're making music. So uh, let's zoom in and break down these concepts right now. Here we go. Okay, so I tuned my guitar down to E flat. It's a big uh, Steve Ray Vaughan thing that you, that you gotta do. Hendrix, you know, a bunch of others. It's a standard thing. And, uh, and I'm thinking of it as the key of G, but because it's been tuned down, it's actually G flat. But you don't have to worry about that. Even if you don't retune your guitar, you could just play what I'm teaching you a half step lower, and it's going to work right along with that fine. So I'm using this little box here from the G minor pentatonic. And so we're going to do, uh, here's the first lick idea. That's it, one more time. And so we're going to hit uh, two times on the root right there, which is the eighth fret of the B string. Then I'm going to the next note up the pentatonic, which is the sixth fret of the high E. Like that. Okay. Then I'm not going to hear that natural note. I'm going to immediately bend up, and I'm using my ring finger and my middle finger together for strength, and even my index too, if I can. So when I'm doing this, when I'm doing that high E bend, I'm thinking of all three fingers kind of glued together for strength, and I have a lot of control. See, a lot of guys try and do it with one finger, and it's a, you're not gonna be able to control it as much. Here it is again. So I'm going right into the bend. I'm not going. I'm going. So, you know, for this instance, you know, I mean, you could bend it 20 times, but we're going to do three. And then after the third one, we're going to bend it up a again. So I'm bending it. Then relaxing it to that six, and then ending on the root right there, which is the uh, the eighth. So check it out. You could do that bend less times. Okay, a little trick though is getting some rake sounds in there. A little bit harder to do if I'm not muting with my other fingers, but I'm getting some palm muting in there to get that string sound. And I'm draking the, uh, dra uh, sorry, raking the strings across, and I get that. So that's a big uh, sound that you can get there. I'm draking, uh, dra 
keep saying draking. Uh, I'm raking there too. <laughs> Okay, so once again, the first bend. One more. Okay, here's the next one. This is a really classic right here. So we're, we're starting on that root again, so it starts the same way, and then we're going to that 6th fret of the high E, and we're just bending it just before it sounds out of tune, with one finger. And then we're doing the same thing, a half step up with our middle finger. Then ring finger up another half step into that bend. he likes to do on the turnaround right before he kind of starts shredding again and it sounds like this one more okay and so we're just doing that sixth fret of the high E eighth fret of the B then middle finger on the seventh of the G Finally, the six on the B. something remember i've got jam tracks to practice these licks over in that link down there uh thanks for hanging out with me and hope to see you again real soon take care